Good morning. Bishop Gary coming to you again. This is Breakfast with the Bishop. Glad to be here and glad to be with you. We trust everyone's having a good spring as we get ready to go in, in, into the month of May and having ourselves a good time in God and a good time all the way around. I love springtime. I want to read Psalms 103 and some of them call it the blessing psalm or the insurance policy. It talks about his benefits and I won't be able to mention all of them. But in Psalms 103 verse 1, it's, a, it's Thanksgiving and, it, and it's a psalm about God's mercy. David wrote it when he was being chased all around. But it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. And you can start with the next verse. Number one, he forgives your iniquities. And number two, the disease, he heals all the diseases. And number three, he redeems you. And on and on and on it goes. But I, but I just want to instill in us a positive attitude. I, I'm a positive preacher. Someone said, don't you ever preach any condemnation? Not if I don't have to. I believe the Lord has raised us up and, and God always wants to bless. How, how many remember back, and some of them maybe re, already are, the, in, in having a relationship with your father, uh, my dad was good to me. Uh, I got my share of spankings and punishments, but overall, uh, he was a true father to me. He loaded me with benefits. He taught me how to fish, how to hunt, how to trap, how to think. He had me memorize all the leaves of the different trees, the grasses, the flowers, the insects, every bird. When they, when a bird whistled, I knew which one it was. And uh, we, we, we just had a good time together. And he was my father. How many know our Father God is the same way as our Father? He loads us with benefits and, and, and helps us and teaches us and brings us daily into, into a better relationship with him. In Galatians 4, in the New Testament, there's a scripture there where it said, there were, in Galatians 4, I think 1 and 2 or 3, it said, where we cry, Abba, in the Hebrew, which is Father, Abba, Father, Abba. And actually, it's a, it's a term of endearment. If we would say it today, uh, I know like with me, I wouldn't say Father, I'd say Dad. We always said Dad. Now, my sister Gail, She'd say daddy. She always called him daddy. I always called him dad. And uh, my sister Gwen, my daddy, my dad. She never would say daddy. It was always my daddy. Like the rest of us didn't have the daddy, but we did. And I'm not throwing off on her. But that was how she she really had a, a, a pull to, she loved her daddy, maybe more than we. I don't know. I'm just saying that as we serve our Father God, a relationship is developed. He's already developed it, but he puts us in a place where he can load us with benefits. He'll forgive all your iniquities. You know, if you're if you're my kid or grandkid, no matter what you do, you're still my kid or grandkid. And after it's all over, I love you with all my heart and wouldn't trade you for nothing. And so, and our God's the same way. We've been taught in a, in many religious circles that. Uh, he's out to get you, he's going to send you to hell and condemn you and do all that. Well, let someone else talk about that. The God I serve is not mad at me. He's a good God. He daily loads me with benefits. The problem I have sometimes is I can't see a way to harvest or get a hold of some of these benefits. I've got too much self-pity or too much fear or too much uh, something. But when we get away from that, and how do you get away from it? By, this, by opening this psalm. Bless the Lord. I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast with thee. The humble shall hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord. And so that's where we are today. Got to leave you. Got to go. Love you. I want to talk for just one minute. There's a person out there. I want to send you a personal word of prophecy. Every now and then God puts me in this place. It's a, it's a female and you're young. You're in your, you're in your 20s or late 20s, early 30s. Don't be confused or alarmed by the things around you. Don't let words and things that are going on stop you from achieving your goal. 
I see you getting a, a, a different position in the job or a raise. I don't know. It's a change because you don't like where you are. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He's fixing to bring some big change in your life. Till next time, Bishop Gary, God bless and love you. See you.